Pashmina Naturally. PNG Jewelers. On January 21, 1957, the Copyright Act came into effect. The Bharatiya Parliament passed the Copyright Act 1957, Act Number no. 14 of 1957, the first copyright law after the independence of Bharat on June 4, 1957, moving away from the colonial laws introduced by the British government. The act has undergone several amendments since it was first passed in 1958. The most recent amendment was made in 2012. As part of the Northeastern Region Reorganization Act 1971, Tripura and Manipur, which had previously been princely states, were united into the Bharatiya Union in October 1949 and were made complete states on January 21, 1972. The same act also led to Meghalaya's statehood, which was once a part of Assam. The princely states that had merged into the Bharatiya Union had begun acquiring statehood soon after the nation had earned independence from British rule. On the other hand, Meghalaya was still a part of Assam in 1949 although Tripura and Manipur had been given the status of union territories. Later in 1969, Meghalaya was recognized as the autonomous state due to the Assam Reorganization Act. On January 21, 1945, revolutionary leader and founder of the Bharatiya Independence League, Rash Bihari Bose, died in Tokyo, Japan. He was the creator of the first Azad Hind Fauj. Among the revolutionaries of the country who tried to achieve independence and organize an independent government, the name of Sri Rash Bihari Bose is prominent. Rash Bihari Bose was associated with the Moderate Party of Congress. Rash Bihari Bose called the militants deadly. people provoking and unresponsive agitators he was one of those people who used to go out of the country with the help of foreign nations to create an environment against the british and find out a way for the liberation of bharat in 1937 he founded the bharatiya freedom association and called upon all bharatiyas and declared bharat an independent nation rash bihari bose died on 21st january 1945 On this day in 2008, Bharat successfully launched an Israeli spy satellite and placed it in its polar orbit. Texar-1, also known as Texar, Polaris, and Ofac-8, was an Israeli reconnaissance satellite equipped with a synthetic aperture radar developed by Elta Systems. It was successfully launched at 3:45 UTC on 21st January 2008 by PSLV C-10 launch vehicle from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Bharat. The satellite was reported to be Israel's most advanced satellite and the radar system allowed it to view much more than its existing OFAC satellites that use cameras. It can take pictures of small targets under cloudy and foggy conditions and carry out day and night and all weather imaging.